Hey, what's up, everybody? On this uh, Friday the 13th, you know, which, of course, this year in 2022 happens to fall on a Friday. And, of course, um, I guess uh, the particular um, movie review that I figured would, you know, interesting to talk about since, of course, Friday the 13th is based off the Jason Voorhees series. I figured the one in particular I forgot. I guess maybe I ought to mention maybe in a little bit more detail is um, the third installment of the Friday the 13th series. And the reason that I say that because one, it happens to be the 40th anniversary of the original uh, movie, which, you know, amazes me, you know, how quickly uh, the time goes by. And it's also the the first installment in the Friday the 13th franchise in which uh, Jason dons his infamous a uh, hockey mask, which of course doesn't happen until like like an hour into the uh, movie, and I mean I will admit, well, Friday the Thirteenth series, I would say is not really my favorite iconic horror series. I mean, but it's watchable. But I would say the reason why I'm not a big fan of Friday the Thirteenth series is because I feel like you know like the characters that you know that Jason usually targets. When they ever, whenever they appear at Camp Crystal Lake, don't appear very interesting. They're very like uh, one dimensional. The acting is kind of bad in some cases. I mean, however, um, in this particular installment, uh, this time around, the main female lead is uh, Chris Kimmel's uh, character, which, of course, initially, fans may or may not be aware, was initially supposed to uh, bring back uh, the Jenny character from the second movie. You know, which was in which her character was supposed to be the main focus, but of course, those plans changed when the actress that played her, Emmy Steele, declined uh, to return because you know she feared that she'd be typecast. You know, if she would have came back, but it would have been interesting to see how Jenny's character would have progressed. You know, from the events of the second movie, had she uh, returned. But I would say the Chris Kimmel character. Uh, uh, it's not a bad character, especially as it tries to explore her trauma, you know, throughout her past from when she encountered uh, Jason and, and tries to overcome it, which I guess would have been, uh, I guess, Ginny's arc had, you know, had it been her character instead. And, I mean, I will say it's one of the better Friday the 13th stories uh, before, you know, the, the series kind of went like a little bit over the top and Jason became more like undead which I think happened after the events of the fourth uh from the movie from film number six onward if my memory uh recalls but that's been it's been so long so uh like I said I mean like I said the third movie's actually it's still a pretty good installment it's not it's not bad it's watchable not like I would say nothing spectacular but it's doable for uh what it is so i guess that's pretty much all there is to say about friday the 13th part three uh the 40th i, I guess anniversary retrospect uh curious to see what people think about friday the 13th in particular this installment you know after 40 years or like uh curious to hear what other installments people liked you know what they didn't like any type of feedback of course as always is uh, much helpful and greatly appreciated. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and look forward to sharing more content again soon. Thanks a lot, everyone, and happy Friday the 13th.